Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Emma, behind the camera is Alex, and today we are tackling the storage. After a quick trip to Portugal, we are back at home and working on getting our van ready for a summer of exploring. In today's video, I will be building a long shelf, some shoe storage, and a mini wardrobe. Now that we're back, it is time to crack on with the van build yet again. And it's already starting to feel a lot more like a camper van now that we have the bed installed and the kitchen units. But now it's the next big part of the build, and that is our storage. So to attach the sort of support for the cupboards going on the top, we're going to utilize this section here, which has been put in with the pop top roof. And I've drilled some holes in here. And what we're going to do is put this bracket up using a pot rivet gun where we're just going to kind of put that through there this through the metal and attach it fingers crossed <laughs> and that is going to be what's going to support our support beams oh got it yeah Super. oh that looks pretty flush i'm happy Good. Right, let's get the other one in we'll see how how it fits oh. We'll, okay. We'll get um, Alex to hang from it, see if it holds <laughs> his weight. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Excellent. I mean, it's definitely not quite as tight as the other one is. Cause I... Yeah, it's a little bit loose in the hole, but the one on the left is pretty sturdy. Good. And then once that's attached to the rest, I think it should be fine. Oh! That's a Need to work out. Yeah. It wasn't easy, but we bloody done it, you guys. We have shelves and <laughs> more storage. So obviously space is at a premium in here and this may not look like a lot of stories to you, but to me, this looks like a monstrous amount. So we've gone, instead of going for like full on cupboards, we've gone for more of like a shelf unit. And what we'll probably end up doing is adding a couple more dividers in here for different sort of sections. And maybe even like a little bungee cord going across just to stop stuff falling out. Um, but yeah, I'm so happy with it. I think actually this is going to be really great for storing a lot of like dry foods and things like that in the kitchen space. And then over here by the bed, if we put some more dividers in, it could be a really good place just to store sort of, you know, socks and clothes and bits. We've also added, <laughs> we, I've also added. You're just asking for negative comments. I have a lovely relaxing time in Portugal, away from all of this fiasco. And now I'm back and you're just setting them up. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's too easy. Right, I've added a lip on the bottom of the shelving unit. Why do you ask? Has she added a lip onto the bottom? Has she gone crazy? Has she gone crazy? No, she just thought it would be a nice way to have the lighting mounted underneath without it being super bright and in your face. So I've gone for some like, it's it's basically a strip of LED lights that I just bought from Amazon for like 20 quid. And it's got this like, adhesive backing to it so all i'm gonna have to do there is just peel it off and stick it on they also come with a dimmer switch so i'll be able to actually stick that up on here and be able to dim the lights at the same time another piece of storage i've been working on is this thing in the corner this is worth a picture if we got this it's emma doing screw up by hand <laughs> Yes. It has happened once, at least, in the build. This is a uh, monumental event. <laughs> it's so slow. Imagine if I'd done the whole van like this. Lovely. Now we've got to show what's what's going on here. The poor little zoomy zoomy stuff on the floor. It's okay. We'll need you again. Um, so if you watch our bed video um you'll know that this is actually one of the support beams here for the bed when it's in bed mode not sofa mode um but it's actually also going to be shoe storage in here too so i managed to get the frame done and i even managed to get a little lid that slots in on top here but the annoying thing is i planned on cladding all of it to make it look like more of like a box 
<laughs> I've run out of bloody cladding, haven't I? Well, you've only run out of cladding because you've tried to make this look all fancy <laughs> and you didn't even finish it. <laughs> it's so annoying. There's actually so many times throughout this build where I've been halfway through doing something or just started doing something and I realise I haven't got this or I've run out of that and I'm having to pop to the shops all the bloody time or make orders online all the time. And it's actually made it really impossible to keep track of what I'm spending on cards, what banks they're coming from, which leads very nicely on to today's sponsor. <laughs> very natural. Thank you very much. Huge shout out to Curb for sponsoring today's video. Curve is basically like Spotify or Netflix, but for banking. It puts all of your bank and loyalty cards in one app and one card. It's completely free to download and you get five pounds for free when using our link. There are a ton of features, but some of our favorites include the incredible exchange rates when you're abroad, meaning that you can focus more on the freedom of a lovely holiday rather than thinking about banks. You also get instant cashbacks and rewards at some of your favorite retailers, including supermarkets and petrol stations, but also things that we use a lot when we're on the road, such as booking.com or easyjet. Also for me, I personally really love the ability to get insights on all of your banks and all of your spending all in one app it is a massive time saver for me so instead of going to each bank individually and checking what I've been spending and saving I can just do it all on the Curve app I'm also really happy to be able to use it for loyalty cards because I don't know if you guys are like me but I end up saying yes to all these loyalty cards and then they just sit on the side at home because I've got so many I don't want to keep them carried around in my wallet all of the time but being able to put them on the Curve app means that I can actually make use of them not only is Curve completely free but if you sign up using our link wink wink then you get a five pound sign up bonus completely free paid into your curve account so why not give it a go put a link in the description down below while I'm waiting to get the cladding I figured I may as well start in another section of the storage and I think I'm gonna tackle this one over here so this is our last big piece of storage in yeah the it should kind of transform the van quite a lot definitely I have a few ideas of how I'm actually gonna implement this storage unit I know that I want it to act kind of as an armrest but also have like the storage inside but the problem is I think that every idea that I've come up with so far is going to impact the bed design. a little bit to accommodate the storage but the frame is done you guys let me show you what we've had to do okay so actually Alex this was all his idea decided to move the toilet from over here next to the kitchen to under the bed um, no praise for Alex during this van conversion series please sorry it was my idea all my idea which has actually opened up so much space over here so much so that we actually now have room for a nice little wardrobe over in the corner so we've slotted the toilet under the bed now that we've removed this frame that was underneath and i haven't attached it yet but one side of the frame will still be used as a support beam um, and attached to the bed frame but we've basically just taken out this chunky bit along the top and this other chunky bit along the side which means that the toilet can fit in there perfectly also if we ever want to get rid of the toilet it's pretty yeah. easy and it creates space yeah we're instead not of building, building around, around it. it exactly i think that that's the danger is we haven't used it enough to know if it's going to be a permanent we haven't feature. used it once don't let them think that we've been using it we haven't used it once <laughs> but i meant the van we haven't used the van <laughs> enough to know if the toilet is going to be a, a permanent resident of the van so there's no point in building around it as alex said so this is our storage unit let me just kind of show you the the rough idea it's all just held together by clamps at the moment i haven't actually secured it in properly but this section here is going to be kind of a wardrobe shelving unit um we'll put a couple doors on the front here so we'll have a couple of shelves um two double doors that come out the front <laughs> fly in my face we're then going to have our inverter 
underneath this part of the unit um, which actually has like a plug on the side of it which will come out the top here and then this back section is basically just going to be a laundry pit of despair where we just shove all of our dirty clothes. Something that I didn't really think about so much before starting this build was how difficult the measurements are going to be and actually I think the whole measuring and cutting process is the longest part. Putting stuff together isn't so hard but every single measurement on this whole unit is completely different nothing is the same length nothing's the same width just because of the shape of the van you have this like continuous kind of bending inwards you have bits like here which just kind of jut in and out it's absolutely impossible so yeah wh however long you think it's going to take to build storage triple it quadruple it and that will probably be accurate <laughs> So if I do this side first and then we can glue it and kind of move it I'll across. Do the, I'll do the bottom one first. So shall I put it in the C spot, shall I? Is that the C spot? This is the C spot, okay. that's the D I spot. that was the D spot. No, the D spot's down here. Is it? D for down, C for up. Come on. Get out. This is bloody C. Don't... <laughs> Don't laugh at me. You like their chuckles? <laughs> Can't say I didn't tell you. <laughs> oh, this is the top one. This is the top one. I know it's the top one. I know it's the top one. This is the top one. <laughs> I had them both in my hands. <laughs> After what feels like making a million mistakes along the way, we are finally here. We have our almost finished storage. <laughs> we have an actual wardrobe. This is something that I never actually expected we would have inside the van, so it's a really nice surprise that we've ended up with it. What difference a lick of paint makes, wow. I know, I know. Is that, like, this is just like crappy paint on, on the plywood that came with the van. Look at the difference between that and like proper paint. Dulux paint expensive paint <laughs> let me just quickly show you how it all works so this is going to be our mini wardrobe we've got some little clicky lock door handle things here um, we're going to have some shelves and a lid on top but i ran out of time before we needed to publish a video so i'll be doing that soon you might be wondering why it's so short um, and that's for a couple of reasons the first reason is that when the cushions are on here it's actually a really nice height as kind of an armrest but also because of the shape of the van how it sort of curves inwards if this continued going up straight it would be so skinny at the top and tiny and actually be quite encroaching i think so we decided to keep it small and keep it more open plan I've also managed to get the cladding done on the shoebox, which I am so happy that I've done because I think before it just kind of looked like an awkward extension of the bed, but now it actually looks like it's supposed to be here and it has a purpose. So with this kind of shoebox section and with the laundry pit of despair in the back corner there, I really like how we've kind of thought in practical terms of storage. Having hired a lot of vans in the past, we know the kind of things that annoyed us and what we struggled with storage-wise before, and we knew we needed a place for our dirty laundry away from our clean clothes, and we knew we needed a place to store all of our shoes. If anyone watching has any suggestions or any hacks for useful van storage ideas, or just anything that makes life easier whilst living in a van, please leave it in the comments down below. That would be very helpful indeed. If you like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future van and travel content and leave in the comments down below, is this enough storage for you? Would you have done it differently? And how would you have done it differently? And also remember to put your complaints about Alex. <laughs> <laughs> leave in those comments. Down in the comments below. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Beans out. <laughs>